Welcome to the new version of RaceTap. I'm going to create a series of tutorials here to uh, show you how to use it. Um, this is currently in uh, still the late stages of beta. We're calling it 3.6. Uh, when we release the final, we've decided we're going to go ahead and call it RaceTap 4 since it's such a big upgrade. I highly recommend it even in the beta stages. It's really, really good. So the first thing you're going to notice when you first sign in is that it does require a mile split login. Now you're not bound to use mile split services or online registration but we are doing some some cool stuff with with the cloud and automatically pulling down some data such as records and just other kinds of integration with live results and whatnot um, so we do require the mile split login but you only have to do it once you have to be online the first time after that you don't have to be online in the future so you can use this offline so you know don't freak out about this part but you will if you don't already have one you'll need to go to the mile split website if you click the sign up button you can do that and create an account I'm going to go ahead and log on here with my test account and you'll see it validated me and now it's asking me uh, who I am brought up my information automatically so I'm just going to say uh, super timing co alright and I'm going to click finish down here I'm going to resize this so you can see some of this um, and uh, so then now I'm in so before I get started into an actual meet I want to just kind of tell you about this part of it. So over here on the uh, the right side of the screen under recent meets is where you're going to see the most recent meets that you've opened. Now I haven't opened any because this is the first time so that's why that is empty but it's going to give you a list of all the meets you've recently opened. If you have a race tab file already that you'd like to open you can click browse for meet over here and uh, you can locate, I have all these different race tab files, you can locate the race tab file you want to open and uh, and open it. Um, simple enough. All these buttons over here under blank meet are what's going to allow you to create a blank template of a meet and so you kind of walk through some of these steps and uh, it's going to set up the, the meet with some default events and settings for you. Down here at the bottom is you can import the meet from various things. Uh, download for miles but if you have the meet on the miles but servers especially if you use online registration you want to use that. Um, other registration services such as athletic.net will give you an article file uh, which is our kind of proprietary format but it's uh, it's really easy for other developers to, to write to so other companies have integrated with that so you might have an article file. High tech database um, this is a little bit tricky high tech has uh, locked us out in the newer versions so if you either have an unlocked high tech meet file meet database or you have like high tech 2.0 it'll work if you have high tech 3 or high tech 4 in their locked database like they are by default it will not work you may be able to figure out how to unlock it and it can import it and then finally using a template and that will allow you to create a new meet from an, another race tab file so if you have last year's meet already set up and configured the way you want it you can use that as a template we also have some default templates and uh, I'm planning on creating some like a library of default templates you can choose from as well and then finally, before I close out this video down here at the bottom, is Edit Preferences. And uh, that is where you can click in and get into some of the preferences and, uh, and change some things about the way ReadyStab works, including the default base folder. Some people on school networks have had problems because we save it to, uh, to My Documents. And on some school networks, it gets touchy because they've mapped My Documents to the network. So with this, you can change this setting uh, to any folder you want that RaceTab will use as its base folder and that might let you get around some of those school restrictions. So that's all for this video. I'll do some more videos showing you how to actually do some stuff within the meet.